Hi everyone, this is hashtag uh, deck the year brought to you by Penny's Crafty Creations. Um, I had seen a lot of these videos last year and I wanted to go ahead and participate this year. It's, it just looked like so much fun and something that I could do quickly, which is kind of the key word for this year for me. Um, it's just been kind of busy and crazy and I don't want to I don't want to, you know, set myself up for failure just because I have this gigantic project. And I just feel like this one, smaller, works for me, fun, creative, and just quick, quicker. So I thought I'd go ahead and take part in this. And um, Penny had uh, actually opened it up to different kinds of decks of cards this year. Uh, so I went ahead and just uh, pulled the Crazy Eights card game that we had from Dollar Tree from way back. Uh, my son's kind of outgrown this in a way, and honestly, I don't even remember really playing with it much, much at all. He's into, like, Uno and other games, so um, this one's just kind of sat on the shelf anyway. So I went ahead and decided to just pull this one, and the Barbie one you see there to the side was a uh, fraction and flashcard type uh, deal, or numbers and counting type deal that I had um, just gotten from the Dollar Tree just for... Uh, projects for myself that just had to do with Barbie and you know girly type projects so I thought I'd go ahead and get um, use out of those as well the crazy eights game does not have a deck of 52 it's actually 32 so I needed another set of cards just to make up the difference for the year so this is what the crazy eight cards look like they're kind of cute even by themselves I could probably even cut this out for a card, you know, for like a someone who plays hockey or whatever. But um, I think that these would be better used as um, deck the year cards and just for ATC cards or embellishments in the future. So that's what they look like. I don't know what I ended up picking um, at the end. I want to say it was an eight, but I, I honestly don't know. I'll start keeping track of that. But I went ahead and just covered the front part of it. And so you'll be seeing the back of it. And then in this case, I have not do, done any of them yet. I did two for using these two cards, one for last week to make up for last week and one for this week to make up for, for this week, basically. And for this one, I just went ahead and did, I started just with the cute little uh, sunflower and I thought, okay, well, um, I'm going to wish you happiness in the new year. So that is my new year card kind of thing. And I pulled this paper. I love this paper. It's really pretty. Um, but it needed some brightening up. So I went ahead and added the little stickers there. And then, like I said, this is where I had started off with is just the cute little happy, um, the little happy face with the little sunflower. So I thought that that pulled from this. So that's why I used this paper. And then I added the happiness right there and the cute little sticker at the bottom. These stickers are also from a Dollar Tree. Um, I have a huge stash of stickers and this will be uh, beneficial too to just go ahead and use them in these in this collab. Um, I might add to this card, but for now that is what I have for um, last week. And then for this week, I went ahead and of course this is the back of the card. I went ahead and I was working with uh, Valentine's uh, pockets last week. So I went ahead and created one just kind of similar to that. Use my um, my Dymo sticker, you know, my little uh, printer thing for the Happy Valentine's Day. I just thought it needed something else. And I just added the cute little um, little embellishments I had actually cut out of the other piece of paper that I had. Um, I don't remember if it's the back side to this. It might be the back side to this. I don't remember. All I know is that I pulled it from a different piece of paper that I also had in my stash and I went ahead and cut these uh, conversation hearts out since the background is conversation hearts and the little conversation container. So I thought that was cute for a happy Valentine's Day. I suppose I should have saved it for maybe the weeks of February, but that is what I was working with and that's kind of the um, idea for me behind this is just to use what I have and if it happens to be right there in front of me, even better, because <laughs> then I can use it all. You know, I had this scrapped here um, that didn't really fit my pockets anymore. I couldn't really create another pocket, 
but I could definitely create a cute little ATC card. So that is uh, what I created for this week. And I hope that you all are able to check out everyone else that is doing this hashtag deck the year. It looks like there's quite a few um, additional people in addition to the ones that used to do it last year. So there's a lot of new channels, including myself. And of course, uh, definitely check out Penny. And thank you, Penny, for creating this uh, beautiful collab. Loving what you're creating with yours. And I love the idea of the um, the color with the flashcards that you created today. So awesome, awesome. And thanks again. Talk to you all very soon and hope you have a very good day. Bye-bye.